Justin and Maury, uh, you guys have been together for 15 years. Now, there's got to be some pretty important things that sort of go together to make a winning team. I started riding in junior ranks and riding solo and progressed to open solo. My dad offered to give me his, his sidecar to ride and to ride with Maury for just for one, one trial, which was the uh, Australian Championships in 95 here in Canungra. Mm -hmm. We went into the event as our, our first trial together and we placed second um, by a very close margin, just missing out on first. The partnership is uh, really good because um, what we actually do is we spend quite a bit of time together before an Australian title, but uh, after that we don't see each other for the rest of the year. That works for us. Uh, I don't think it would work for, you know, for everyone. And when Justin first got onto the sidecar, he said, how do you ride it? And I said, just ride it like a solo. And then from there, we've developed you know, the floating of the sidecar, you know, big leaps over rocks and that, you know, with Justin's experience with the uh, clutch and brake control. And uh, it seems to, be, seems to really work well. When you're actually riding the course, how, does it, how, you know, how do you work together? How do you communicate? Do you talk to each other? Do you, you know, or kind of do you know instinctively what needs to be done? We probably don't, don't speak to each other in the section as much as uh, most other partnerships, but that's only because we have been riding together for so long. We, we have a fair idea on how the other person's going to react to what's going to happen in a section. Um, we both sort of look at where we're going to ride and decide on, on the best line that suits our particular style of riding, and, and we take it from there. We pick the particular line, but we'll, we'll always go, look, if we're in strife there, this is our out. So we've always got two or three different lines. Pinpoint accuracy, if, you, if you've got to have that and you don't get it, you've always got to have an out plan. For anyone sort of starting out or thinking about doing sidecars, what sort of advice could you give them about the sort of, you know, picking a machine, two-stroke, four-stroke, you know, any particular sort of pointers that you, that you could give to someone wanting to start off? I think, you know, in, in the choice of machine, like we've, we've chosen the four-stroke uh, Montessa, only because that sort of suits my riding style as a, you know, as a solo rider. Um, we've had two strokes in the past and we've, we've won championships on pretty much every other brand and every other make, but, um, you know, this is so far, it's, it's progressed to the best machine for us. Um, it's the easiest to ride, um, it's the strongest and yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're starting out, the hardest part, I guess, is that you've, you've got to get yourself an outfit. And uh, unfortunately, there's only a few people around that make them. Um, we built this ourselves. A lot of the other guys build their chairs themselves. There's uh, a couple of guys in Victoria to build sidecars to order. This is a design that, that uh, my father and Maury came up with many, many years ago, and we've basically just replicated the same design on, on every, every one that we've built because they've spent so much time developing it and found what exactly works the best, I've just jumped on what they already had and it suited. So. Yeah. Maury, could you talk to us a little bit about the, uh, the requirements of, of a machine? These straps, pe people think I use them a lot, they're actually to stop me from falling off the bike. I normally hold onto the hot bars here, here, and here. And that way I force, put the weight on the sidecar like that to hold it down, and then back over here like this to, to float. But the safety part about it is when we get into strife and we fall back, the first thing I tell people to do is you always put your hands up like that and aim for the steering head so that stops the bike going backwards and injuring the rider. And when you're doing a, like a sidecar high, if, if we get into strife, I let jump off and grab the sidecar like that to stop it from rolling onto the, onto the rider. But, but the only one that we can't seem to uh, stop happening is just going over that way. It, when, when we do that, we're both, both on the ground. Uh, South Australia next year are going to have, uh, they're going to try and have A, B, 
sidecar and then uh, classic sidecar. So air cooled, you know, twin shock, no brake, no brake on the sidecar wheel. They're hoping to have a big field in South Australia and for someone starting out is have a look at the older ones, you know, a little less power than the uh, modern bikes, less to get you into, you know, this flipping over and that, that type of thing and it would be a lot cheaper and uh, maybe that's way we can uh, promote the sport. So. I definitely think the South Australian guys are doing a lot to try and get sidecars up and running again, which is great to see. And they are, after all, really, uh, as far as numbers go, they are the biggest state because you know, they have a sidecar spectacular down there and a couple of uh, memorial trials, which really, really encourage a lot of the sidecar riders and old sidecar riders to get their machinery out of the shed because, you know, there's, there's that many old outfits floating around that nobody knows where they are except for the guys who own them. And they never ever throw them away or sell them. So there's there's plenty of them out there, and uh, with a bit of luck, if they get kick off in uh, in South Australia, um, it might encourage a few more guys to, to, to bring their, their outfits out of the woodwork. That might perhaps uh, encourage a few of the other expert riders around the country who sort of get to a level and injury or work commitments start to interrupt their their training. Gives them a bit of an opportunity still to have a ride with not such a high level of commitment and, uh, and a lot more enjoyable.